Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Minecraft PSP update video. Now, you might be wondering, Nathan, why are you, uh, at, you know, recording at 11.40 on Sunday uh, for a video that's going to come out on, like, Monday at, like, 1 a.m. or something? Well, I usually wouldn't be recording right now. I would actually probably be uh, working on either this or doing a stream or something like that. But I feel like the uh, addition is enough that uh, it justifies two Minecraft PSP videos in one day. So the current addition uh, is actually a huge performance optimization that we'll be getting into in this video. But before we get started, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of whenever I upload. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So, what could possibly, potentially, ever uh, justify this level of, uh, you know, uh, attentiveness and uh, quick video making skills? Well, you'll see. Uh, one of the things that I was doing on stream was uh, adding network compression to Minecraft for the PSP. And this network compression uh, helps us alleviate some of the network issues that we were experiencing earlier. And, you know, I thought it would be, like, a minor performance boost. It wouldn't be, like, something that was too crazy. Uh, let me go up here and actually turn on Minecraft. Go into multiplayer. Uh, as you can see, I'm not running the server currently. I will be in a second here. But if you go back to the previous video, uh, you'll notice that it's very laggy when you're getting into the world. Uh, it takes a few seconds. And, well, that hasn't necessarily completely changed. Uh, I have, in fact, made it a lot faster, and I can tell you a little bit more in a second. So let's go ahead and get started with Craft Server here. Uh, it's just going to boot up, and we're going to put it on the hotspot. Um, I've removed a few things that uh, slowed it down during execution on eBoot mode as compared to PSP Link, uh, which now means performance parity, uh, so that's actually going to be a lot better. Uh, however, the main issue uh, is using packet compression. Now, packet compression is a way of compressing data uh, so that you need to send less over a network and helps alleviate network stress. And it's one of the standard things in the Minecraft protocol, which is to be expected. And it works just as you would expect. It reduces the amount of data that needs to be sent. Seeing that the problem I was having earlier was that I was sending 54 kilobyte chunks to the uh, Minecraft client. Uh, through the net network, which would fill out a buffer, and then it would have to s send it all out before doing that over and over and over again. Now, the way that that happens uh, just basically means that everything runs a little bit slower and it doesn't really work as well. Uh, and it basically makes it very laggy. But now, let's get into the actual world and you'll see the difference from last time. So, it still takes a second here for it to generate in, but as you notice, that was a very, very fast uh, generation. And as you keep running, chunks generate almost instantly. Once you reach the certain threshold that you have to get past, it generates practically instantly for the next set of chunks. And this is an amazing optimization that actually uh, goes ahead and it gives us a huge performance boost to the overall uh, application. Now, using the network compression, I have a 99.05% compression ratio, which means that for however many bytes I was sending before, I'm sending only uh, basically 0.95% of that data, uh, which is a huge optimization when it comes to sending a bunch of network data, like a chunk. So for example, that network data actually corresponds to basically uh, 54 kilobytes as compared to 500 bytes. Uh, that 500 bytes is basically nothing, and sends pretty much instantly, which is why it gets really quickly here, and the only real bottle cap I still feel like is probably the terrain generation algorithm itself. Now, of course, it only triggers a, a terrain generation update once you get too close to this edge here, which is why you still can get relatively close to the edge due to the fact that I don't have a very far out render distance, just for the purpose of saving RAM. However, this does mean that the server is generating worlds a lot quicker and is now a lot more optimized. How optimized do you think this is? How optimized is the network load? Well, let's just say that the improvement is 
10,558% faster, which is insane. And this isn't actually the full number, this is just the uh, impact to network load. The actual number is probably far higher because every single time that you send a big chunk of data, it gets broken up uh, by the uh, transfer units uh, down to basically a size of like 1400 something, depending on your router. And basically it only sends that much data across the network. Now, instead of having to basically do this, now it actually can send each individual packet pretty much instantaneously once it's ready. It doesn't have to break it down. It doesn't have to do any of that. Uh, it doesn't have to swap buffers. It doesn't have to do any of those expensive things that it was doing prior. It doesn't break a packet down into, you know, 10 to 15 little sections of it to send it across a network. It just sends uh, basically the entire packet at once, which means terrain loads a lot faster than it did in previous versions. So I really wanted to show you this uh, with you guys, and it's a really impressive uh, sort of optimization that uh, I was not expecting to do as well as it has done. So I'm going to say thank you guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video, which will be later today for Minecraft PSP.